Uh, hello everyone. Hello. Oh. Oh. Good Anna morning, everyone. Yep, just an average day in a dog built thing. What the heckles? Ah. Uh. Ed, Ed is everywhere. Thank you. How are you all doing today? How have you all been? I own five days. It's been longer than that, right? Yeah, like six and a half. Six and three quarters. Six, seven, eight. What? Well, I'm doing math. You can't stop me. <laughs> no, math is everything. Math is how the world works. Yeah. The world doesn't function on hopes and dreams. The world functions on binomials, polyam poly polyamorous, and uh, exponential graphs. Yeah, it was like the start of, of Star Wars, yeah. <laughs> Doo -doo. Same brain, same brain. Inka Pink. Inka Pink says, says it's you. Hope you are good. We are good. Swifty no microphone. Are you are you serious? No, no, no. Oh, she's been talking this whole time. Okay, okay. Uh, I hadn't turned it on. Are you serious? Are you si for si Are you for serious? I didn't realize serious? it was turned off. Are you for serious? I didn't realize I turned it off. <laughs> I didn't realize I turned it off. Look, everything's working somehow. You guys didn't hear all my amazing witty banter. It was it's the best thing It's not my you've fault. Ever it's not my fault. I like when I, things are broken, but it's not my fault. I was thanking everyone for the subs. She was talking. I was thanking everybody. I was. I'm gonna have to thank you guys again now, just to make sure it's happening. Hold oh, on. you. They could. Could they hear? Could you hear her through my microphone? Could you hear me? Ed is everywhere. Oh, thank oh, you. Oh, oh, I'm stand. Good for make it rain. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> Pinker pink. Thank you. I feel like I missed someone. Martina, thank you. Benevolent night, thank you. It's great to see you all. Whoa! <laughs> wow. Right? Oh. <Nope. laughs> well, thank you so much, Benevolent Knight, for it's, turning Doig into the Eiffel Tower. Let's get, a, let's get a better view of everything. Actually, more like the Leaning Tower. The Leaning Tower of Doigles. Wait, I got, I got something for this. Wait, I got a dab. Is that... It's me leaning. It's me leaning. Are you ready? Yeah, go on, lean. Uh Oh I wow, fall over. that's a heck of a lean. I'm not sure if I'd call that a lean. I can joust you now. Are you ready? I don't have a, I don't have a jouster. Ah! <laughs> Bonk. No. <laughs> Bonk. What's this? What's this? I got vaccinated against COVID because Sonic, Doctor Eggman. <laughs> Look, this is proof that of Sonic's course. a good influence on people. It's proof. Well, of course. Sonic's telling the kids to get vaccinated. It's a good thing. Gotta get vax. Yeah. <laughs> gotta go. Gotta, gotta go, go vax. vax. <laughs> you gotta do it. Stay safe. Ravto, thank you for ten bits. Whoa, the alarm's going on. The alarm is. How how the heck is everybody? Well, how the heckle is everybody? How the heckle is everybody doing? Good and the morning Jaffa kicks. <laughs> Being pushed by the Jaffas. There we are. Now I'm free from bits. And carry things better. Hey trash bot. What's up? He's he wants your Jaffa cakes. Oh no, he doesn't anymore. 
I know what you said. Did you spend all last week playing Elden Ring? That's what I'm telling myself for simplicity's sake. Man, I wish we spent all last week playing Elden Ring. We still don't have it. We don't. I'm going, I want to get it for the PS5, but I don't have a PS5, so I have to get it for the PS5, so I have to get the PS5 we don't first. don't have a PS5. What are we going to do? We just have to live vicariously through everyone else who's playing it. Is it good? Who's been playing Elden Ring? And tell us how it is. Where's he going? I never trust it when he goes somewhere. I know he says it's very good. So good. Onza said we missed you. We missed you too. We missed you guys. A week a week of no streams and little internet. Feels weird. For us. So we didn't we didn't even off stream we didn't really check in with many people and we missed you guys. We missed our friends on and off stream both. Nice to be back. It is nice to be back. Nice to feel corporeal bird again. <laughs> you you Digital finally, bird. Finally back to your true self. Digital bird. Digital bird. Digital bird. Digital bird. Did you did did you did you do? Digit bird. Digital doig bird. Digital in the what airship. <laughs> Digi swift. Digital doig swift. Digi swift in the airship. Aiden Jacko says there's been so much flooding that my university said we don't have to explain why we couldn't go to class. Though I haven't been affected, I won't miss the excuse. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, fair. Flooding? Bear. Yeah, I'm sorry to hear that you're in a flood area. That's not good. That must be a bit of a pain. I, I mean, be. apart from the fact that you're not affected, it must still be a pain for everyone else. Where is the flooding get at? Places. I don't know, are you in England? Because England is known to have many floods. Where my parents live, the, there are frequent floods because they live in a valley. That's very near a lake. So whenever it rains, it's just like, I've become a river. The street has become... Hey! What? The street has become a river. The street has become a river. The river has become a raft. The raft has become your destiny. Follow oh, the raft on. path. Did someone redeem a good look money hole? Hinka did. And then I think Martina did it for Hinka. Hinka's got oh, an interview. <gasps> a job interview in three and a half hours. My gosh. Ah, good luck, Hinka. Good luck. That's so super cool. May good luck follow you all the day. And into tomorrow. And and yeah, through tomorrow and too. Up until you got two. they make decisions. Mm -hmm. And in the decision making room. And, and in their beds at night. While they're contemplating all the decisions they have to make, may the good luck money hole follow your decision makers home. Not that you need luck, Hinka, but if you mm -hmm. want the job, I hope you get it. Mm -hmm. Well, you need a little bit of luck. We all need a little bit of luck sometimes. Yeah, I've been playing. I play, don't I, don't make it your dump stat. I play don't Smash, and uh, th there's one of the voice commands you can use after a match, and one of them is just lucky. And I'm just like, yeah, well, I don't mind having luck to beat you. I, I'd rather luck was on my side than not on my side, right? I rely solely on luck when it comes to computer games. I just hit buttons and then hope that they're the right ones. And sometimes, on rare occasions, they are. But who doesn't want to be lucky in life? You want to be lucky in love? Mm-hmm. Lucky in love? Mm-hmm. Oh, I get it. Oh, I missed. Oh, Magic Pado says, Hi, I've always wanted to catch you guys streaming, but I've always been at work. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Well done. I'm making it to a stream. Here well we done. are. Well, this is Just us. We're happy to have you. Welcome to the pre recorded content. Yeah, this is 100% pre recorded. Yeah. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> How dare you? I only got feathers there. Pre-recorded. It's in the script. Not a lot of padding. Hey, get, 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 chew. Ah, stop. <laughs> it's in the script. No, it's I not. I have no choice. <laughs> Throw you out the window. There we go. I love it when you, your little arms go out. Like you're trying to balance yourself in midair. <laughs> it's my favorite. Achieve my goals. Yes. 
I want a little motivational poster with Zoe drifting off into the sky with his arms out that says achieve your goals. Was that a crow mail I heard? It was a crow mail, a distant crow mail. Got a crow mail from Weeb who says, Oh Swift, speaking of interview, I had one with Tanya Melendez and she says hi, she loved working with you. Oh, that's so nice. You had one with Tanya. Oh. Who's Tanya? Tanya's awesome. She works, she works at Nick. Oh. She's always super nice. What does she do at Nick? Well, I think recruiting is one of the things. That makes sense. <laughs> How did how did it go? It's, it's so nice that she she remembered me. That's so nice. Did did you say that? Did you did you name drop? Were you like, hey, by people... the way, I know India Swift, and that person's like, oh, I know India Swift, and then you were like, got in the good books. I think a lot of people probably remember me because I'm so awkward to deal with in terms of hiring me for a studio because I I don't live in the US. So there's all kinds of hoops they have to go through to pay me, make sure it, like it's my currency and arrives correctly. A lot of hoopsy doopsies. Yeah. So that means that um, <laughs> that means that I'm a huge pain. Holy shit! Whee! They just got taken out by the Jaffa cakes. So that's probably why people remember me. Like, oh yeah, she's the girl who we had to like spend three months setting up her payment stuff. You're not a girl anymore. Remember we went into that place and they were like. Go talk to this lady. Go talk to the lady. Your lady now. I got called a lady yesterday by someone. I was out about town as I normally am. I was I was a bird about town, <laughs> and someone someone said something to me or or something, and then the lady the, the woman was like, "Go and ask that lady," and I was like, "They're talking about me." Mm -hmm. They're talking about me. You no longer. And then I sprang down onto all floors and crawled up onto the ceiling and hissed at everybody. <laughs> 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 like Mr. Bubs. Like. <laughs> I got you. <laughs> Ooh, la lady. Ooh, la lady. Lady. Weeb says she asked how I'd been educating myself for animation without being an animator and I may have mentioned the stream knowing how she worked on the TMNT movie. Heck yeah! That's so cool! Oh, That's still... The TMNT movie is still my favourite gig I've ever done. Ever. When's it coming out? And Tanya was a part of that. When's it coming so. out? I hope that she's doing well. I hope that she's doing well. Because she's awesome. <laughs> Astral Library says being called lady is so like but ma'am I am five years old <laughs> but but ma'am I am too <laughs> ah, I, missed. I suppose in bird years that would make me an adult though right I'd be an old lady how old are you how old am I as a bird yeah in bird years I'm probably like 84 I don't actually know how long birds live I'm probably like one and a half in bird years. <laughs> you and you're hitting me with things today. The birds. Have this dog's not going to be screen sharing today, so he's got like energy. free energy to just hit me with tea. Yes. Have you got tea? I got some. Okay. I did. I did get some before the stream. You but got then a tea drank it all. Okay. Okay. Some birds have a long time. True. I guess big birds probably live a long time. Like, a finch probably <laughs> well, Sesame lives... Street's been running for a while, huh? Fin <laughs> a finch probably lives not as long as, like, an ostrich or an emu. Hummingbirds probably don't live that long. Because they got super fast hearts. Yeah, they're like... <laughs> through life. I would put on a little bit of the Sonic movie before bed last night. Um, <laughs> as I was dozing. Yeah. And it got to the part where the, the veterinarian lady takes takes his pulse and she's like his pulse is so fast and i'm like no that means he's only gonna live for like two years <laughs> sonic no it's okay they clone him no they can't yeah that's what happens he's one and he's one in a million <laughs> that's why he changes throughout the years it's just all different sonics they're yeah. actually not they don't get it 100 style it's just a different one every time they pop one out of the tube yeah but they have to like mix it with other DNA because the DNA deteriorates because of the speed force, and they have to they make mix sure it that with like a Dalmatian and stuff. 
They had to fill in the DNA strands with no, that of no, frogs no, from no, Africa. No, no. But they only bred them to be males no. so they couldn't procreate in the wild. No, I got a theory. They, 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 ordered, they, have Sonic to, they, mix it, they mix it with a greyhound and that's why his legs got longer is because he's got greyhound DNA. Oh, look, and here's a greyhound right now. <laughs> Totally a greyhound. That's not a greyhound. That's oh, not what? a greyhound. Oh, we're either. getting puppers. What is this? This dog looks like it's it's sad. It can't go is outside. Is this Ula's staring, dog? Staring out. Ula dog. This is a very elegant dog. These are two different dogs though, Mike. Yeah, but they're both so cute. Then Ula dogs. They are cute. So cute. Are they those uh, Sh Shiba? E Inus or the, the other type that's not Inus, but no, not that aren't Shibas. The other one that aren't or that because they're all Inus because Inu means dog. Whose dog is this? <laughs> Please answer her. Whose dog is this? Oh, Akita Inu. Is it an Akita or a Shiba? Iba. Is it Shiba? I don't know. I'm looking at the chat. Shiba or Akita? <gasps> it's Jonan. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, oh, hey, dude. It's a Jonan. A wild Jonan has appeared. It's a Jonan. He's coming well, like we feared. <laughs> and watch out, because the Jonan has drawn near. <laughs> it's Jonan. Jonan Vazquez. I'm trying to land on deck, but I'm not very good at judging the distance. Did we oh, win? No, I think he won. He's got three jelly cats left. Uh oh. Uh oh. Jellies? <laughs> hey, they're here. I see them. Oh, they em. are. Yeah, they it worked. Hey, Jordan, thanks so much for the raid. How in the heck are you? How was your stream? I'm going to put this one right here, and I'm sure nothing bad will happen to it. No, please let me save him. We were talking about Sonic cloning. Yeah, we were. That's why I think over the years they've had to like mix his DNA with other stuff. And that there was a whole excuse for the werehog. Like that they just they tried wolf DNA and it didn't take. But they couldn't they couldn't spend another billion dollars making another Sonic, so they had to make an excuse to make the game about it. Oh, Jonan says, it was just fine. You guys have a good one. You have a good one, Jonan. You have a good one. Have an awesome day slash night. Bye-bye. Well, whatever it is, where you are in the world, have a good one of those. So what are you going to be doing today? Oh, I'll do a bit of glim boarding. Oh, sweet. Cool. Yeah, 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 yeah. If you want to hop over, we can do that. I just, I was, I was, was baking on the floor. I was preparing you. There's, there is bacon. That's from my sambo. It's floor bacon. My sambo is everywhere now. Yeah. Oh, welcome, Raiders. I forgot to say even what, what's going on. Hi, we're Dog and Swift. I'm Swift. He's Doig. And we do art and animation. And we also just hang out and talk. Yeah. Uh, um, uh, conceded. Jonan's been here before. We're longtime enemies. We are. The feud has, has lasted uh, generations generations Aeons. of V's and dogs and swifts have battled for supremacy on somewhere Twitch. in an ancient temple there's carving of <laughs> Jonah Vasquez raiding this stream yeah. in an airship it was both prophesied and history alright let's go over to the awesome you're going to get deep lower okay I'm going to bring the jelly okay so it's just it's just pink. It's just pink right now. Yeah, Hold you on. definitely got your screen share I on. do. Let me shake my mouse. Okay, and then let me make sure Shaking that it. it well, should okay. be working. It should be working. Yeah? Yeah, you might want to... It's not quite full screen. Yeah, you might want to turn off the region of interest. Okay, one sec. <laughs> In the region of interest, baby. Don't do, you do, know do, that do, I do. love you? There we go. In the region of interest, darling. Mm, Don't you mm. know that I'll always be true? All right. And now I can I can concentrate on this and dog, you can concentrate 
on being a bear. I don't have enough for a good fuck money mo monkey hole. Good fuck money. But good what? luck to Hinka Pink today on the job interview. Good job, Ola. Good job. Good job. Good job. So let me just say, if you've not been here before, my name is Doig or Michael Doig. I'm a bear. Um, together, I'm, we are Doig and Swift. Together, I'm a whole bear. Yeah. Uh, Swifty over there is a director slash animator slash storyboarder. I do I'm, stuff sometimes. I'm a colorist slash whatever I feel like doing at the time. Uh, we're both creators who've worked together collaborati collaboratively over the years. Um, most notably, I think, um, uh, together we've worked with Knights of the Light Table to make animated music videos. And more recently, Swifty is a professional storyboarder working on such things as... Rise of the TMNT, the movie, Whoa, what? and Transformers Earthspark. I no, can't quite believe that I get to do cool stuff like that. I can't say what I'm working on, but I'm working on something. Working on something, and yeah. it's not Sonic clones. Wink! <laughs> I would never clone a hedgehog. You wouldn't clone a hedgehog. I wouldn't clone a hedgehog. It's a slippery slope. <laughs> then I'd have two of them. I don't even want one. And so... Together as well, we're both comic creators. <clears throat> and for the last little while, of what, what feels like a little while. Feels um, like eternity. Eternity. We've been working on a comic called Girl in the Glim, which is pretty cool and it's gonna get um it's gonna get published this year, this summer. There there's a there's the there's the cover. Um it's published this year by IDW, so it's gonna be distributed distributed internationally by them. And it's pretty cool, and you can pre-order it right now. It's about a little girl. Not a little girl. It's about a girl who goes to school, tries to make some friends. Yeah, a little. And uh, some monsters are, are invading her school, and she has to deal with them, because she's the only one that can see them. The and whole thing about her being short. It's a, there's a whole thing about her being short. It's not a It's not a uh, bi biographical, autobiographical story or nothing. It isn't, but I have taken bits and bobs from my experience. So it's definitely like there are parts of my experience that I have tried to translate or channel into it, but it's were not autobiographical. In school, were you ever made fun of for being short? No. Okay. Is in that fact, because in school I made fun of someone else for being short? <gasps> yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. What a twist. You were the the tallness. I was the, the tallness police. Yeah. Yeah. Karma. Maybe, yeah. maybe, maybe your your growth hormones or whatever were like, oh, can't believe she's made fun of someone. Let's we're, let's go on strike. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> what are you saying? I'm not that short. <laughs> I'm perfectly average height. Are you? Yeah, for a bird. Just... Hey, strife! Thank you for the raid. Hello. Welcome. Thank you so much for bringing people over. How was your stream? Hello, everybody. Hello, hey. hello, hello. A raid is a raid is a raid. A raid is a raid is a raid. Yeah. We're super happy to have you. What were you up to? Do you want to play the the whole thing for people so they can see, like, get an idea what you're doing? Or do you want to keep it a mystery? Well, let me uh, do a little bit more first because I'm actually nearly, nearly done so. Okay, mystery. Our, um, so more recently, uh, I made the active decision, I guess, to... Uh, put more time into posting up some of her work on social media. So it's been having a grand old time. I mean, it's been okay. It's been okay, you know? And uh, so I started putting up some... Well, more more recently, India did her so what Sonic... Uh, but it's Brooklyn Nine-Nine, but it's Sonic. Um, and before that, uh, Rise of the Team in T, 
vines. And so they were really cool little short pieces of content that people seemed to enjoy. So that gave us a little bit of momentum. And I figured after the momentum, I should keep the momentum and start posting some of our older stuff. So our Instagram has some, some new, new slash old stuff on it. And people seem to be enjoying it, and that makes me happy. It's new to some people, and it's nostalgic to other people. And to other people, it's just like, oh, I haven't seen this before. <laughs> Swifty is 20 feet tall in a long leg form. In true. Indeed. It's true. I have many forms. Whoa. What happened there? I don't know. I wonder if my touch is active. Did you hit boot dance? Doesn't seem to be. Mm. Sometimes it just freaks out like that and it's like, you press these three buttons. I'm going to open these three consecutive things real fast. I'm like, whoa, I didn't press anything, bud. What's this? Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, I'm talking about, I'm talking, well, the, the graphs show the growth of, I'm of talking our influence about over the internet. So it's all good. Talking about them graves. But really, though, I've never experienced it before, so hey. You haven't experienced graphs before? N no. <laughs> Not graphs that are interesting. <laughs> <laughs> Not graphs that I like. Well, like, usually it's just like the slow, steady crawl. But I like seeing number go up. It's kind of like when you're doing a scientific experiment and you have a hypothesis and then you try and test the hypothesis and it's just really boring. <laughs> like... If I pour more marmalade on this jam, is it sweeter? The carve just goes like a straight line. More jam. More sweet. You've but, kind of lost me a little bit. But you put <laughs> But imagine you put like some sherbet on but there. Imagine if you uploaded something to Instagram. <laughs> yeah, and you put some sherbet on your sandwich, then it's like whoop, whoop. Whoop. You know. What I'm saying is, go check out her Instagram, it's pretty cool. And, okay, so, a little bit ago, a little bit ago, I, I, um, I was talking about how I was worried that people don't, people don't know necessarily the things that we've worked on, yeah? Yeah. Well, there's comments on there going like, I remember this, I didn't know you made it, and I was like, well, that's what this Instagram is for. I know. That. Because if, if t two or three people comment, then there's probably like two to three hundred people who haven't. And so it's worth it. Yeah. It's great. Be careful not to fall too far into that hole. Because there's a part of me where I was like happy that we were starting to try and steer you away from caring so much about the numbers. And I feel like the numbers starting to do well has pulled you back into it. I'm back in the game. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. But not like, mm, maybe, yeah, maybe a little bit. Oh, Tabisco's going to bed. Night, night, Tabisco. Night, oh, Tabisco. <laughs> Regression, you hate to see it. Well, I was worried about it, and now I'm less worried about it because I have demonstrable evidence that it wasn't, <laughs> it wasn't paranoia, it was truth. Well, of course it's. I mean, there's always going to be people who don't know what we've done, Doig, because yeah. we're not the center of the universe. And I have the remedy. There will always be people. There'll be people who aren't on Instagram. There'll be people who don't care. And that's fine. <laughs> that's good. Do you know my favorite comments? Uh, no. It's the ones that go, I saw this on YouTube. And it's like, yeah, I put it there. <laughs> Why are you telling me? Although people do repost things. So sometimes if someone goes, I saw this on, on YouTube and you haven't posted it there. And you're like, oh. It's, then it's more worrying. But if it's an old in, it's an old YouTube thing that's put up on Instagram, then it's, it's the comments pretty funny. Like they're like, I recognize this. But it's not anything. it's not anything that's like big IP. So they're like, I saw this here. Like, okay. As fun as I find Doig's comment corner, maybe there's something else that we could chat about. What do you want to chat about? I don't know. Like, um, <laughs> I don't know, like people's weekends. What were you guys up to? What were you up to? Tell us. I'm just adding this glim. This, I've forgotten. 
that the glim butts. is also meant to be here. Pinker Pink wants to talk about butts. Butts! They're peachy, they're keen. Sometimes they can be mean, they're butts. Sometimes they explode with explosive things. Sometimes they do. It's true. You figured out that ice cream goes well with pita chips. Oh, really? What? I've never had pita chips. Have you ever had pita chips? Well, I'd assume that they taste a lot like potato chips. I haven't. I've had... I've had toasted crisp bits of pita. No, I want right now. Cajun fries. Mmm, they are good. They're pretty good. Aiden Jacko is storyboarding for the short film for university. And Ula's been walking dogs on ice and playing Forbidden West all weekend. What's Forbidden West? Uh, it's the new Horizon game. Oh, cool. Is it, is it just called Horizon Forbidden West? Pilkey says I ran a D&D game and did the session zero of another game that I get to play in. That's awesome. Oh, Benevolent Knight played the Sonic card game. Oh, isn't it, it weird? Yeah. Isn't, <laughs> it, isn't it just odd and strange? It's a strange game. Strange, isn't How it? How long did it take you to decipher the rules, which are very unclearly written? I appreciate um, that Sonic movie reference, by the way, Mike. Thank you. Are you are you making a Jaws poster? That's exactly what I'm doing. That's exactly what she's doing. I know he did a lot of social media work, went for a five mile run and played a lot of Elden Ring. That sounds like a super productive weekend. Is it gambling for kids? <laughs> kind of is, yeah. Kind of is. Yeah, yeah, because you, you're making runs and you're like, oh, oh, I'll stay. You're only betting rings though. It, it seemed like the kind of game where it's better just just go out on the first round. Nah. Yeah. I think it's just better to go as soon as you get like a decent amount. It's basically a game where um every every consecutive round you can either get dealt rings or you can get dealt a badnik, and if you get dealt a badnik you're out. So everyone's basically just Either folding or staying in. Does it, the uh, the air quotes race? Does the meta of it describe it that they're all racing together? Yeah, but there's not a race because people people can just be like, "I'm going to stop running," and then still win, and then still win. <laughs> yeah, that's not racing. That's I don't know what that is. Oh, let's see. Weekend was bad, but then it was very good, says Hinker Pink. I was scammed into a job interview for NFTs, but um, when I said no, I got an offer to work as 2D animator in games. Oh, heck yeah. We we got a couple of messages um, which were like, hey, will you make us some animations? We've got the oh. cash. <laughs> I'm just like, just look at the header in our Twitter thing. And I'm like, yeah, mm-mm, mm-mm. No? They were N NFTs. Oh, they were NFTs. Yeah. This is like, hey, can you just make me something I can sell? Like, no. Oh, I yeah, I got a couple of those messages from people like, hey, like, I really like you. Can I commission you to make me NFTs? And well, I haven't replied to them. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, they're probably going to know why I'm not replying to them. I have a thing to talk about. Oh yeah? I was gonna tweet it, but you gave me this look of just like, Michael. Mm -hmm. So I'm not gonna tweet it. Fine, don't. I'm gonna, like a... I'm gonna say it now. What is it? We got a DM from someone who was like, he was just like, hey, do you do any comms? And like, there was like comms? lots of uh, comms, like commission. Oh. But it had like four O's and like three M's. Like, do you, hey, do you do any comms? And... <laughs> Uh, transparency here if I read that and I'm just like not for you wow not for wow, you wow Mike I mean you can't judge someone here's, just on how here's they my express my reasoning here's my reasoning is like if you can't put any effort into your ask 
then I don't think you're going to put much effort into the into the backing for thing on whatever this comes. It's like someone saying like... Maybe they did it deliberately. It, it, Maybe they wrote that that way deliberately. <laughs> what it do you mean? It could either be that they... It could be that they put no effort into it. Or it could be that that's just the way that they write because they're either dyslexic or they have like problems like typing oh, or it no. could be that they deliberately did it that way because they wanted to create like a humorous tone or it could be that they deliberately did it that way because they heard that it doesn't really matter a hundred percent if you completely punctuate things correctly people are going to get the gist of what you mean and be okay with it anyway not me <laughs> i'll judge you on your first message no me Ayuroki says, I think I think Doig made the right call. Yeah. I always want to give people like I'd never judge people on the first the first sentence. I got no time for your second sentence. Oh my god. I got no time for it. <laughs> I got I don't have a good temperament for patience. Look, I've got resting bare face. Why would you think I'd be like, oh that sounds like something I want to pursue? I mean, I don't know, man. All right, well, okay. As a science experiment, I will pursue it and I'll be like, hey, what are you looking for? And if it goes badly, I'll well, tell you all about it. I mean, I think that the best thing to do is just to be honest and be like, nah, not at the minute. Nah, man, I'm getting <laughs> wasted. <laughs> that was so much crow mail. Hold on. Got a crow mail from Ben. We got, we've got our morning horror story. Inji woke up. It had been a week since she last woke up. I don't like that. It implies I'm only alive when I stream. She struggled to open her eyelids against the cobwebs and dust. The whole world was different now. She sat at her desk. All her files had been replaced with a new file extension .nft. She tried to open her files, but they were links to dead websites that were supposed to be hosting her work. That is a nightmare. No. Not the NFT. Not the NFT Not goblin. The NFT. If you're a bad artist, the NFT goblin will come and turn all your work into hyperlink blocked. Hyperlink blocked. And we got a chrome from Pilkey who says, Dear Sir and our bear, I am in the market of some high quality animated movies, and I have heard that you are amongst the best in the business. Would you be available to partake in the commissioning of some work? See, that's better. What would you actually say if you got that message? Back to them. What would Me, I say back to about them? it? What would what would I say about that? I'd be like, well, this is a very well written and nice thing. <laughs> you liar! <laughs> you liar! Absolute lies. So good, hundred percent. Be like, look at the way this message is written. Ooh. Uh, I would appreciate the effort that they had put into it, the oh, request. Yeah. Maybe you would. Mm -hmm. Maybe you would. I'd, I'd laugh at um, <laughs> Dear Sir and or Bear. That would make me laugh. It would show that at least they uh, know who they're talking to. Mm -hmm. but I wish I don't mean like in any kind of you should know who you are kind of way, but more in a like if you're going to contact an artist because you say you like their work. You'd probably actually know what they do because you do get a few people contacting you and I'm using the royal you as in I do too where it's like they say that they really like your stuff and then they ask you to do something that you've never done before and have no yeah like have shown no interest or aptitude in doing and you're like are you sure you really have seen my work before because you're asking me to do like a 3d render pipeline and I've never posted any 3d work <laughs> the, the 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 gut punch messages are the ones where you you get like a man i really love your work like you're really good at this do 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 but i'm not looking for this do you know anyone yeah i love <laughs> i love and hate those ones where it's like oh hey swifty like you're one of my favorite 2d 2d artists and i'm a i'm looking for some artists right now i was wondering if you'd recommend any 
And I'm like... <laughs> Those can be understandable if they in also include like, I know you're not available right now, so do you know anyone? Then you're like, oh, they know we're not available right now. Do you know now. if I'm not available if you don't ask? Hey, if it's something I'm interested in, I might clear my schedule for you, even but though I'm not meant to. It involves a certain blue horge hag. And I might be able to find some time somewhere. If it's Sonic related. If you tidy up this. Don't count me out. Uh, Martina, then then we can get that to you. India, full screen your storyboard. Why? For for Martina for the thumbnail. Oh, okay. For you, Martina, anything. Do you want me in it? In can you full screen in uh I don't know a way. You don't know a way. No, I can look. Hold on. Can you double click on the window? At the, the, the top of it. I could drag it out. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Arr. Oh. <laughs> Arr. Arr. <laughs> Like she's reacting to me. Err. Okay, okay. Is that good? Uh, uh, I'm assuming that's good. Uh, I'm gonna pop it back in. You're welcome! Yeah, it's, it, it's good. You're welcome, you're welcome. Do 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 Rather than just immediately be like, you do commish, it's helpful, like, even if you're not sure if they'll accept the job, yeah, to give them a few details that will just, like, help them decide in yeah. case they're on the fence about it. So they don't have to respond with a yes or no to get more information. Um, if you're just like, hey, really like, like, your work because of this thing that you do, I'd love to get a commission of one of my OCs in colour, you know, mm -hmm. how much would, would that be and would you be interested? Then I, that's much easier because then even if they can't do it, if they know what you like about their art um, and if they know what type of thing you're looking for, they might even be able to recommend you to an artist you wouldn't have considered before and you might find new favourite artists that way. There's there was someone who was just like oh would you would you I <laughs> would you guys want to uh, make a movie like make an animated movie with me I have some ideas <laughs> it's just like all right no I'm not gonna I'm not gonna reply to this because one I don't know who you are two I have ideas too <laughs> and I don't have the resources to make a film. I think the main thing is that you assume that people who email you like that probably don't have the resources either. Yeah. Because I feel like if they did, they would say. <laughs> I feel like if if we were being emailed by a billionaire who wanted to invest in us to make a movie, they would say, hey, my name is this person. I have a small fortune and want to invest in making a movie with you. They wouldn't be like, hey, do you want to volunteer to make a movie with me? I've got ideas. <laughs> Also, I live in Nigeria and I'm a, I'm a prince. <laughs> <laughs> Those Nigerian princes, man. Those Nigerian princes find it really hard to fund movies these days. <laughs> <laughs> they have all the capital and no trust. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, Ben Tenson of Cromown says, Hello, doigi woigi. Do you do, you do cummy woomy? <laughs> Terrible, I hate it. We've got a crumble from a wild fox who says, well, do you do comms? Onster says, if only people were that upfront straightforward. Yeah, right? 
You do a lot of commission. Probably get this all the time. Yeah. Do you have like a system? And Ike says, hey, I love your work and I want some art done for a project. Do you know someone who isn't you who I could give money to? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's pretty much it. Yeah, hey, I heard you were awesome at snowboarding. I have some snowboards and a slope. Do you know anyone who want to, like, come with me? <laughs> it's like, oh, what? What? Do you not want to work with me? What did I do? Yeah, my stinky. Look at that rotation. Look That's at that so... rotate! Doesn't so make good. much sense. But it's okay. We can work it out in animation. It doesn't have to be perfect. Don't have to be perfect in the boards. Ah. Uh, we're just missing some peeps. Probably want some the background crathers here. Oh yeah, I saw Ben was talking about being an indie game developer and having two games on Steam currently developing Dead OS, which is a zombie city survival simulator cool thing. Mm-hmm. Um, you should go check it out on Steam. It's it's pretty cool. Everyone Swift should go check it out. It's, it's a really, really fun game. Swift and I created Super Zombie and watched it <laughs> watched it decimate an entire city. <laughs> we did. We tried to make the strongest zombie and then we didn't realize what we'd done. We pressed play and it just disappeared. And we were like, where is it? And then we scrolled and just saw a trail of bodies. <laughs> we followed the trail of bodies. And realize it was moving at light speed. Yeah. <laughs> killing usually, everyone on the map instantly. Usually the speed of them is just like... <laughs> but this thing was just like... <laughs> <laughs> it just kill everything. There was just a trail. Trail of blood everywhere. Oh, Hinkapink says, now that we're at commissions, how should I price myself for a character design? A person contacted me and wanted a rough character design but I never did freelance stuff or priced myself. <laughs> I think Onsta's probably got some great advice to do with this. The way that I normally do it is I figure out how long it's going to take me and then charge my hourly rate for it. Um, but I also usually draw up like, I would draw up a contract where it's like, this is how many revisions I'm going to get. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Yeah. So character design. Yeah. And and commissions is one thing. If you're if you're doing a commission for an individual, yeah. and they're going to use your character design for I don't know like a D and D campaign or something like that, that's but one. If they're thing. not going to commercialize it. Yeah, if you're doing character design for like a game or a film or something, then if then they're going to want to use it, the rules change and stuff. Like you can charge way more if they're going to you know yeah. use the character design and build the game off of it and stuff like that. So well, even it, just if they're going to make money from that drawing, like if they're going to. Print it on t-shirts. Yeah, there you go. Also saying you got to always consider commercial fees and what you ha what have you to if the character is going to have future merch, etc. Etc. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like, if they're going to use that character, you probably want to like get some royalties from that or just charge a higher base price for it. Um, because you're going to assume that someone's going to be making money off that. Uh, that piece of work you did for a long time. And then other than that, like, as a, assuming that it's an individual using it for non-commercial stuff, I'd just be like, how long do I think it's going to take me to make this? If it's going to take me two days at, you know, I don't know how much you charge, but for animation stuff, I used to charge 150 a day. No? You would probably charge more now. I'd probably charge more now. Yeah. Um, but I guess it depends what for, because um, storyboard artists generally get paid more than animators. Yeah, depend depending what you're doing and who the client is, but your that your day rate is probably higher than that now. Probably that was back when I was like starting out. Make sure to bar them from NFT use, says Onsta. Oh, that's a great idea. It's a great idea if you want to avoid waking up in Ben's nightmare. Then yeah, put in a little clause where you're like, you can't use this as an NFT. Do you guys have university degrees? Uh, Indy, uh, Swifty and I both do, yeah. Yeah. Um, 
I got a BA Honours in Computer Arts back in 2009 and it served me well. Um, I think I think that university degrees are good things to have if you are um, wanting to work abroad and things like that because part of the visa process looks at your education mm -hmm. and you're more likely to be considered if you have have a history in higher education um, in terms of the practical applications of it I think university is a good a good amount of time to apply yourself um, it's depending a good, uh, way to learn to work with others in a space as well yeah um, so those are things to consider yeah get those soft skills I still haven't paid off my student loans nope me either so. Will we ever? Who knows? Oh wow, Onsta says um, I've had to put no NFT or crypto use in my terms of service because it's been getting so out of hand. Oh, that sucks. I'm sorry. I mean, it makes sense that uh, because you know you're you're super well known um, in the art community is making awesome art. It would make sense that people like have been using your work for that, but that sucks. <laughs> that sucks. I wish they wouldn't. I think it's tough in, in these days if like big companies are doing it that artists might get get commissioned for like one thing and then suddenly find that their work is being sold by the company as an NFT. I don't yeah. think there should be any um blowback on the artist if they weren't aware no not or if even if they aware. are aware but like like if they're you know if it's the company you're like we we want we're gonna do this with it you're like okay. well yeah th there comes a time when if you don't work for people who if you don't work for people because of certain like moral values they hold then in the end you can't work for anyone but yourself yeah because everyone is attached to someone or some company who's going to be using or doing shady shit. Which isn't, like, good. <laughs> I don't think it's okay. But I do think that there would be no work available at all if people refused to take up anything that was morally questionable, questionable um, in terms of what the companies are doing and who they're working with. Pretty much every big company has got big by doing shady shit and it sucks but that's like it's like just a universal truth is that I don't I can't think of a single big company who I'd be surprised if they were like oh yeah we've been you know outsourcing the labor to people who don't charge as much in countries which are having economical crises because then we can get it for cheap hmm it being everyone doesn't make it okay, but it does make it kind of inescapable. Mm -mm 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 -mm. So I, I think, you know, if you want to make a living as an artist, you do have to make certain concessions in terms of who you work for. Or at least you have to pretend to yourself it's not true, but we all know it is really. We all know every single big company has stuff going on. I think a lot of the appeal of them is the the royalty thing where it's like you sell one thing and then like every time it makes a sale but I feel it's a good it's a good idea a bad bad implementation hmm? but yeah I wish people valued art more and Me that too. we didn't have to have some convoluted digital system that is basically a replacement for human trust with one another. Like yeah. that, 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 that's what it is. It's like a big ledger that's like, I don't have to trust you. You just have that. This just proves that you like, it's like an antitrust system. And it's like, oh, when do we stop? Why do we don't trust one another? It's because people do shady shit. Yeah. In an ideal world, you wouldn't need to, to work for the big companies to get paid properly. Like, could be able to work for yourself and, you know, then you could make sure that everything was above board. Do, 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 Maybe do, do, one day we'll get there. I hope so. 
Did you see uh, Andy Suriano's uh, little, um, like, they're like dwarf 3D figures. No. Sculptures things. They look so cool. He's working with a sculpt- sculptor who's making um, sculpts of his, of, of his art. So cool. And I think they're looking for a way to kind of like kickstart it or something. Um, yeah. I, the reason I brought this up is like he he briefly considered NFTs for it, but it got a lot of feedback of like, no, don't do it. So then he's like, okay, so what what is a good way to do it? And then that's why I'm remembering it. But I just want to shout it out because it's really cool. Um, if you check out, I think his name is Wolf Boy on Twitter. Yeah, it is. Um, Andy Soriano, the, the, they're really cool. They're super cool. They have so much charm and appeal to them. Um, Andy Soriano is one of the showrunners on Rise of the TMNT, and he's it's just he's a super super cool comic artist in his own right. So yeah, they're like fantasy dwarf sculpty figures. It does make me wonder. Whenever people say they were considering NFTs, but then got backlash, I'm like, there must be a bubble of people somewhere where. They just aren't aware of the backlash against NFTs or what makes them... If you're not online... Yeah. Then you probably haven't heard, like... Yeah, it seems so alien to me that people are like, Oh, I was considering this thing, but then I heard there was some backlash against it. Yeah, my mum was like, Hey, uh, my friend's son is making a lot of money from this thing. Is it something you would do? And I was like, what is it? And she's like, I don't know. It's like NFTs and... Yeah. blockchain and I was like no like I wouldn't do that like your mum had only heard the good stuff about it yeah well, that's, like that's the good the stuff good... being the lies of that's the, the money that they're making or oh, it helps artists or oh. yeah but that... this is that's not me making fun of your mum it's just like those are the lies we are all told yeah all the good press is just because okay here's the thing it's just a big it's just a big Ponzi scheme it's just a big per, it's just a pyramid, pyramid scheme. scheme yeah it's all the wealth is getting funneled out of the many people minting crap that no one buys well, the folded ideas video is really the one to watch on it. Like that very clearly outlines why it's like I've forgotten how he puts it, but it's like essentially the next idiot is the way that you make money. Yeah. It's like you buy something that only has value if you can sell it for more than you bought it for. Yeah. So you, you're just looking for people to buy in. The whole so that you can whole, sell it. Yeah, the whole thing of pyramid schemes is like you invest an amount of money and then you have to make that money back. And when you make that money back, you start making a profit. But in order to make that money back, you have to get like 10 more people to invest their money. And it's just like... Yeah, because the only money that exists in the system is the money put into it by the people yeah, joining the system. Yeah, it's a closed the loop. The only money that's in the currency is the, like people have to put money into it. It doesn't magically create money. Yeah, if there's one person in there and they bought some with 10 pounds, then it's 10 pounds is in there. The moment I realized <laughs> that like one of the early ones, it was like, oh, this NFT sold for 69 million. And it was, <laughs> it was purchased by someone who is like behind the whole system. I was like, well, this. Yeah, because they wanted to make a big splash big, about big it. Hype, big, big meme hype. It's big just like, hype. They're going to invest $69 million into convincing other people that there's 60, that this thing is worth $69 million. Yeah. Not worth $69 million. Midnight Muffin says, I mean, a lot of people just kind of know that NFTs are nebulously bad without exactly knowing why it's bad. And part of the reason is because it's so crap for so many reasons that it's hard to sum it up concisely. Yeah. And it's, it's like, you know, when you're immersed in the internet and you're like, oh, everyone knows about this thing. And then you meet someone who's not immersed in the internet and they're like, I've never heard of this. And you're like, oh. Oh yeah, my my will doesn't extend to everyone. This is awesome, Martina. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, there's only so many people on Twitter. It's, it's not a lot the whole of people, world. It's not everybody. So far from the whole world. Oh, I guess. Yeah. And yet, all the media folks are on Twitter, so that all the media reflects the opinions that are on Twitter, etc., 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 etc. It's very weird. It's yeah. like so many separate bubbles. Ba 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 da ba. Ba da ba 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 da ba. Ba da 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 da
Both the ideas is great. I really enjoy their content. They do a lot of very cool videos about a lot of very cool things, including some very nerdy things oh, that cool. I enjoy. I like nerdy things. Like just there was there was a review of Evangelion that they did that I enjoyed. Something about the way I landed is really appealing to me. <laughs> I might just stay here. <laughs> Fine. I mean, that's good with me. You just stay there and enjoy it, dude. Take a load off. <laughs> I look like an abstract painting. <laughs> I'm, it's like a, it's like a. Van Every dog a painting. <laughs> Every dog a painting. Do you remember, remember in the city? I remember. And I would do anything for love. India. Hmm. Baby, I fell down. <laughs> yeah, what is it? I fell down. No, um, you're putting all the texture into the glum. Uh, but, uh, yeah. Does it need it in the boards? Yeah. It doesn't. It doesn't, but it does because I've done this on all the surrounding frames. Okay. So it's kind of hard to track the movement. It looks weird that it's not on this one panel, but is on all the other panels. So that's why I'm doing it. Oh, have you, you Delusi? Have you not heard Swifty sing before? <laughs> we take we take song requests for five dollars. We do not. <laughs> See this coffee link right here. We don't. That's a lie. Don't listen to Toy, he keeps peddling song lies. Request. If Swifty knows the song, she'll sing it for you for I five dollars. I won't. Refuse. Can you sing City Escape? <laughs> I don't. I don't. It's a lie. <laughs> lie. Five dollars. I think Sonic sucks. That's not a song. That's not a song I know. I'd never sing that. Oh, good night, Conceited. Thank you for thank you for stopping by. Hope you've enjoyed your time here. Yeah, thanks for swinging by. I will sing a little bit of City Escape just because it's awesome. You, you got to sing it with me, Doi. Only if they put in five dollars. No. Okay, if Swifty will sing it, and I'll sing it if you put in five dollars. Oh. <laughs> I don't know the words though, so I'll mess it up. Yeah, you do. Rolling around at the speed of sound. Boom. I got places to go, gotta follow my rainbow. <laughs> and stick no, stop, around. stop, stop. They... What? <laughs> they didn't put it in five dollars. <laughs> gotta keep <laughs> moving on. Yes, what lies ahead? Only one way to find out. Audio engine. <laughs> Audio engine. Don't audio engine. Answer don't put in five dollars. Don't audio don't. <laughs> you do not need to. Yeah. Don't. Oh yes. my gosh. <laughs> you guys, don't let him do this to you. Any song you want. Well, you've got to sing it now, that was the deal. No. That's what you said. You said, okay, Swifty will sing it, but I won't unless you put in five dollars. So I guess now yes. it's Doig sings. So what do you guys want Doig to sing? Your five dollars. I don't know many songs. I don't know the lyrics of songs. I'm not the songbird here. Well, you can Google them, luckily. You're turning it on its head, aren't you? <laughs> luckily, you can Google them. You I mean, like you made singing, a promise. Though. You like singing, though. Yeah, but you made a promise, Doig. You said that you would <gasps> sing if people gave five dollars, and they have. No, I said that you would sing any song if no, they gave five dollars. No, you said $5. I would sing it anyway, but if they wanted to hear you sing, they'd have to give five dollars, and they have. So I think it's time for you to sing. Okay. For uh, your life! <laughs> what song do I know? What song do I know? Well, you, you could start with City Escape. I don't know City Escape. Well, Google the lyrics. Pop up Google. I don't know what classical gas is. <laughs> sing Smash Mouth. <laughs> All Star. <laughs> okay, wait a minute. Let's see. I don't know what classical gas is. He's doing it, guys. Close every... Close 
every mountain every other tab than this <laughs> martini says somebody once told me eve okay okay classical ga i don't gas lyrics now i don't know how classical gas you're gonna have to make up a tune sounds you have to make up a tune do is it the that? one by mason williams Paragraph lyric. Paragraph lyric. Look up the karaoke version. Will that come through your speakers and your mic at the same time? If you were to... No. Oh. I can get it to go through the headphones. I can't find the lyrics for it. Can't find the lyrics for classical gas. Listen while you read. No, I can't. I bet I can. I bet it's really easy to find them. No, I've clicked on the top. Can someone link them to us? Are they all just... Is it just an instrumental? Is that what? <laughs> <laughs> it's just an instrumental. Pumpkin Hill! <gasps> Doig! Go do Pumpkin Hill. Are you ready? <laughs> Am I ready? Yeah. Pumpkin Hill, you ready? The live Pumpkin Hill version. Uh, coffee. I don't, I don't know the, the lyrics for Pumpkin well, Hill either. Oh, look up Pumpkin Hill. This is. And you can't convince us that you can't find the lyrics of Pumpkin Hill. Okay, fine. What am I doing first? Pumpkin Hill. Pumpkin Hill. Any sorry I want Pumpkin Hill. This isn't going to be good. Yeah, it is. I got you. Don't worry. Like, the whole point is India's a good songbird and you would have got a good song out Listen, of it. you made it this way. <laughs> this is your choice. Okay, I got you, Doug. Don't worry. Wait. <laughs> Go on, Nichols. I hate this. Should I turn off the other music? No, probably not. It'll mask the pain. You know me, the fighting freak Knuckles, and we're at Pumpkin Hill. You ready? Do it! I ain't gonna let it get to me. I'm just gonna creep down a Pumpkin Hill. I got to find my lost piece. I know that it's here. I can sense it in my feet. The great emerald's power allows me to feel. I can't see a thing, but it's around somewhere. I gotta hold my head because I have no fear. It probably seems crazy, crazy. A graveyard theory. A ghost tried to approach me and got leery. Asked him a question and he vanished in a second. <laughs> I'm walking through valleys crying pumpkin in the alley. Didn't seem happy, but they sure tried to get me. Had to back him up with a fist metal crack him. I'm hearing someone say, you a chicken, don't be scared. It had to be the wind because nobody wasn't there. I searched and I searched as I climbed up the wall. What'd you do? And then I started to fly. Where'd you I, go? I went in deeper. Chorus me, baby. What's the chorus? It should be the next one, the next line. Let it get to me. I am just going to creep. Yeah. Down in Pumpkin Hill, I got, got to find my last piece. piece. I know that it's here. I sense it in my feet. The great emerald's power allows me to feel. Can you see I it? I can't see a thing, but it's around somewhere. What are you going to do? I got to hold my head. I have no fear. Sounds crazy. It probably seems crazy. Crazy or graveyard theory. Ooh. A ghost tried to approach me. He, he got, got Leary. He got Larry. Leary. Beautiful. This is Knuckles who fears none. It's the real deal when it comes to my name kit. Oh my god, this it's is okay. so long. No, it's it's good. You did enough of it. Hey. Can you give a city escape? That's one with actual singing in it. City escape. Lyrics. You did this. You did. Woo. Oh yeah. <laughs> All right. Rolling around at the speed of sound. Yes. Got places to go. Gotta follow my rainbow. Woo. I can't sing. That's it. It's great. Can't stick around. Have to keep moving on. Guess what lies ahead? Only one way to find out. 
Must keep on moving ahead. No time for guess and follow my plan instead. Trusting in what you can see. Take my lead. I'll set you free. Follow me. Set me free. Trust me and we will escape from the city. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to sing it in the most deadpan way. <sighs> okay. I'll make it through. Follow me. Follow me. Set me free. Trust me and we will escape from the city. Are you not going to sing along with me? Well, I didn't want to overshadow you. <laughs> Please overshadow me. <laughs> I'll make it through. Prove it to you. Follow me. Oh, yeah. I'm done. I'm not doing the rest. That was amazing, Doig. Thank you. Thank you. All right, cool. Who knew that? Uh, Very good. Doig adding a new thing where if someone gives five, five dollars slash euros, they could hear him sing was going to be such a, a success. How do you feel about it, Doig? I hope you all enjoyed that. Hope you all enjoyed Doig, that. That was amazing, says Onster. <laughs> if there was ever proof that Onster is too kind, I think this might be it. I just made $25. Oh my gosh. What? <gasps> Wait a second. 25 <gasps> five people? Mm -mm. No? Two people. Two pe Who did someone give 20? Yeah. Who? Uh, I think it was... <gasps> let me look. It was Ed. Ed is everywhere. Oh my gosh, Ed, thank you so much. He said Ed. sings classical gas, which I haven't done. Yeah, Ed is the, the person who did the who suggested the one thing you didn't sing. I feel like you kind of owe Ed. I'm sorry, I don't know how it sounds, so I can't sing it because there's no lyrics. Yeah, now sing classical gas. Classical guess, it's out there somewhere. I don't know where it is, but I know that it's been there for a long time. Cause it's classical guess, it's out there somewhere. I'm gonna go find it, cause I'm a bail. Oh, classical guess, it's out there somewhere. I don't know where it is, but I have a map here. It says, follow your heart, and you will find your best friend in classical gears. How was the one you just made up on the spot better than all the other ones that you had the lyrics and knew the tunes to? Because <laughs> I don't know the tunes, so I can't be out of tune on a one that I don't, that doesn't have a comparison. <laughs> That was amazing, Doig. I love it. Classical gears. There you go. I sang classical gas by Doig Bear. Oxygen. Doo dee doo doo. Ba boom ba dum boom. Oxygen <laughs> is the classical jazz. Ba da ba da. <laughs> What's this? Oh, they gave me squats. Wow, no rest for the wicked, eh, Doig? <laughs> How much for Doig to read slam poetry in the most deadpan way possible? <laughs> More squats. 20 squats. And... Deadpan Doig poetry sounds incredible. And then I've, I've Ben sent a crow mail that that you look look it's on screen you can all read it. You can all read it. Wait, I got to read it. Hold on. Uh, which one is it? The most recent one. Okay. Prop. Okay, it's hard for me to see from here. Prop streaks. Savor by Sonic the Hedgehog. Top fast for the naked eye. Oh, I know what this is. <laughs> Wait, wait, did you start at Poop Streaks? Ben. Ben. I'm disappointed. Oh, there we go. Now we can see. Sonic, he can really poop. Sonic, he's got an attitude. Sonic, he's the fastest thing that shites. <laughs> That's actually pretty good. <laughs> I want to be mad, but how can I be mad at that? I guess I gotta go do some exercise. I guess you gotta go and do some exercise. 
Sonic, you can really move. Sonic, he's gone out of doof. Sonic's doing some exercise. Doigles is doing some exercise. Good for you, Doigles. Let me see if I can get that big wide eye somewhere else. So easy to track. Track that eye. La 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 Feels like this needs to be bigger Feels like this needs to be bigger Great job All right, let's go <sighs> for a ride. Okay, we're gonna have no music on this, uh, but that's okay because the music is kind of split up at the minute anyway, uh, because I'm waiting on a mix which has different timing to allow my uh, boards more time at the beginning. Oh, did they get that back to you? Not yet, but okay. I can pick them about it. But there's no huge rush since I'm still working on stuff on my end. On stuff. Uh, this is what we got so far. Oh. Good job, Mike. Oh. Oh. Just for your information, dog, the now do classical gas, but it's from Simpsons. Don't play it on stream just in case. Okay, I'll li I'll listen to it later. Oh. You doing okay, Mike? Yeah, I just did 20 squats and 5 press-ups. I just did 20 squats. 20 squats. The girl and the gleam. I think I'd like her to get smaller as we go, so it's like she's getting further away from the cam. La, 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 la. Oh, thank you, Martina. Appreciate it. We're going to get so buff, you won't even recognize me. Buff dog. Yeah, I'll <laughs> just be muscles with a couple of antlers sticking out the top. Oh, uh oh, I drew it on one layer. Oh, uh oh, what a stupid thing to do. <laughs> A crow mail. Oh no, a crow mail. A crow mail from Leaf People says, Doig is ready. Feet planted heavy, rock steady. Going for a squat, one more, two more, a lot. Can't help to look at that butt. And you be going, turn down for what? Pop, pop, Doig checks other stuff. Doig cheeks, sorry. Doig cheeks other stuff. Turn it down for what? Turn down, turn down. Who in here is trying to start a riot? Okay, move this one over a little bit. I'm gonna try and get this motion feeling a bit smoother than it is currently. <laughs> Who in here is trying to start a riot? Oh, Fnac says, I'm curious if there's anything new of note with the plushies. Are they still in design limbo? We did have some news about that. Um, I think we spoke about it last, the, like, the week before last, but it's possible you just missed it. Um, you know, since you may have been been not here for that one so i'll do a little recap not great news um from the plushy side of things unfortunately 
it seems like Makeshift, the company that are doing them, has got massively popular, which is awesome for them. Like, that's awesome. Um, but it means that they've had an influx of new orders. Um, and their time is, is now much more limited than it was before. Because they're doing, they're fulfilling so many orders and trying to expand and everything. So I think they're opening up a few more factories uh, and such. But it means that the Doug Swift plushes have been like pushed back now. So they say that they're probably going to be able to take on the project again next year rather yeah. than this year. So unfortunately, it looks like Doug Swift plushies aren't going to be a go um, this year at least. Which is a shame because we were super excited about them, but mm -hmm. we're still super excited about them and we'll still be super excited about them next year, you know, and it's unfortunately we can't do anything about it. So, you know, that's the way yeah. it is. But we are happy for Makeship that they are able to expand and that their business is doing well and everything because it is a very cool service. And they seem like very cool peeps. So that's great. Yeah, I think Makeship is like really... They've been doing really good over the last year. So we kind of got in like early on the ground floor, but we missed missed the wave, I guess. Yeah, if I'd been faster with my feedback, um, we probably would have been able to catch, like to keep ours going in production. But since I wasn't, um, I think it got deprioritized because I weren't getting any feedback. So, which is totally fair and my bad. But yeah, so it looks like those are going to be like on pause for the minute. We'll just have to imagine them. Imagine them in your homes. <laughs> Anticipate. But it gives us time to kind of get get ourselves more established. So I'm yeah. I'm Eddie I'm, Jacko says, shouldn't you have preference because you put your name in or I'm missing or am I missing something? And yeah, I think normally that's the way it would work. I think it's just that because they hadn't heard from us for a long time, the prototypes um, are only kept at the factory for a certain amount of time after they're made. Mm -hmm. And they kind of need the prototypes, I think, to roll forward on iterating from them. So because the factory ended up throwing out the prototypes because they hadn't heard from us in a long time, yeah, they would have to make new ones again, yeah, which would essentially mean, I think, as far as I understand it, taking on the order again. Uh, so like we, we like unelevated ourselves in the queue by taking too long to get back to them essentially. So that's my bad. Yeah. The prototypes might, might have been, they might be, they might have been Toy Story 3 Yeah. They're out there somewhere. Who knows where? Um... What was I going to... I was going to say something. Yes, uh, Martina, we're going to put out the tweet today. Um, India was like thinking that we were going to do the reviews today. And then I was like, oh, I... Yeah, I was like, it's not in the morning, right? I, I just didn't announce that. So what we were going to do is announce it today and then set the uh, deadline for a week. So everyone who knew about the new theme, which is to pick a paragraph, like a part from a novel, isn't it? Yep, it sure yeah, is. Pick a part from a novel and animate a little bit from a book that you like. Um, we'll, we'll put out the tweet today and I'll set up the form and everything. And then we'll do them next week. Good thing you're already done. <laughs> Good. Um, but yeah, I think with the pushback on the plushies, it gives us a little bit more time to establish ourselves. And I think we're more likely to be able to hit the 200 order goal um in you know like next year more than we would this year all going well with my social media empire oh my gosh do 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 why is that song in my head did you sing that no i don't know why i have i did not Gold Digger. I've got Gold Digger, but I have also got like Turn Down for What simultaneously oh, in my head. Oh, that's what it is. Turn it down for what? Is that what you did? Well, yeah, someone sent a chrome in with that. So. Oh, gotcha. Wait, Leaf People sent something. 
Did you did you read Leaf People's Crow Mail? Um, I don't know. How did it start? Dog is ready. Fleet planted. Yeah, that's the one I just mentioned. Okay, cool. There we go. That feels a little bit smoother. A little bit, but that's okay. The like, it doesn't need to be perfect. The animators can figure out how to make the motion super pleasing. The animators. It kind of reminds me of the shot that Patrick did for his like my dad the giant film, when he's on the hand and the the spinning and the and the and the stuff. Oh man, that's an insane shot. Yeah. Do you reckon Pat will ever go back to that film? I mean, I hope so, but I think it's going to be difficult because for Pat, he reanimated that. He's already animated that film once and he reanimated it because he wasn't happy with the work he did when he was at oh yeah at university slash college, from what I remember. I, know. I feel like if he went back to it now, he might have the same problem and want to start all over again. Oh no. Yeah. So. Oh no, he's Richard williams -ing it. You know, I would love to see it finished though, because I still think that the work on that is mind-blowing, even if Pat himself doesn't. We should just take little bits of it and like color and comp it and just be like, look how cool it is. Look how I cool just think, it is. Like, he might not think his animation is stunning anymore, but I still look at that shot and I'm like, wow, a master at work, you know? In the beginning, the universe was created. Uh, this made a lot of people very angry and widely regarded as a bad movie. <laughs> I love that. That's uh, such a great opening line for a book. I want to. I want to reread Hitchhiker's Guide. I think. I think I have a Douglas Adams that's like a big omnibus thing. I don't know how much of that I read. We Maybe I read, read more. We should read it together. You read it together. Yeah. All right. What project or Richard Williams are you referencing? Oh, I'm, uh, the, th the, th the Thief the, and the Cobbler. Yeah, The Thief and the Cobbler. Like, it took decades to make. Yeah, because he kept wanting to redo bits of it and kept wanting the bits he did do to be perfect. And oh. then eventually never got completely finished. Martina animated a bit out of the um, Hitchhiker's Guide. Is it the bit with the whale? Oh, amazing. And the plant pot. Like, I don't know. I I'm love, just guessing. I love them. Or, or is it so long and thanks for all the fish? <laughs> do, 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 do. I just, I, I used to, I still do. I still think that one of the funniest images in a book ever is the image of dolphins jumping out of the water and then just keep going. <laughs> <laughs> keep, so long just keep and thanks for all the fish. So sad it had to end like this. We mm -hmm. tried to warn you, but oh dear. <laughs> Is that from like the radio play version of it? That's from the movie. Is that from the movie? Mm -hmm. There's so many versions of it. Do 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 do. Douglas Adams, what you doing? Is Douglas mm -hmm. Adams still alive? Silky says, my favorite quote from Hitchhikers: "Flying is easy. Just throw yourself at the ground and miss." Yeah. <laughs> There's a very Pratchett flair to to their writing yes douglas adams is one of my favorite authors and so is terry pratchett so i guess that says a lot he about died my in type 2001 of humor. i thought that was maybe the case yeah oh that's why there's no more books to read i love dirk gently though as well dirk gently is one of the lesser known douglas adams books we should keep watching that series yeah because we didn't but, keep watching it but Dirk Gently, the book series, is so funny and so good. And I implore anyone who enjoys Douglas Adams' other work to check it out. Because it's just as good. For some reason, it just didn't like hit the zeitgeist the same reason, like did, the same way other books did. did. Would you say that the, the, the series kind of misses the mark with the books? No, I actually quite enjoyed the series. Okay. It okay. feels very different to the book. But like I was enjoying Dirk Gently's, uh, the series, a lot. We haven't got super far in it yet. Yeah, it's, but yeah. I was having a great time with it. Okay. But the books was, are books are great. I've read all the books and they are great. I was worried great. that I was going to get a false impression, but you you seem to like think they're good, so I will. Well, we should read Dirk Gently together. I have the omnibus. Maybe that's the book I remember seeing. Dirk Gently's Holistic Detective Agency. How would we read it together? Would we? I'd read it to you at night. 
You would... <gasps> We'd lay in bed and we could take turns reading bits. Oh, I like that. I'll take, that'll take months. <laughs> yeah, it would. It's, that's a chonker. That's a chonker. It's because it's like three books right packed there. into one. Yeah. Take a word each. <laughs> Perfect. Take a letter each. Just spell it out. The Injacker says, oh yeah, the reason why it wasn't finished was because it was very expensive and eventually I think either he felt the project, um, either he left the project and they finished it shortening a lot of it or he just shortened it and was regarded as a very good film at the time, but technically speaking, it's beautiful being animated on ones instead of twos, which again made the project very expensive. I think one of the reasons it was expensive is because he kept redoing bits um, because he wasn't happy with them. Like he was notoriously difficult to work with. Um, a lot of the people who worked for him ended up leaving or not having a great time on that project because he was so demanding. Um, like, if he had been less of a perfectionist, they could have got the film done. Um, but as it was, the company just stopped funding it after a point because, like you said, it, they'd already unloaded too much money into it. Mm -hmm. And it he was still saying it wasn't finished and needed more time. So they just ended up stopping funding it. And then the company itself, who were funding it, cut together a version so they had something to release. But Richard Williams never liked that because it was unfinished. Yeah. Um, and because it was unfinished and recontextualized, they'd shifted around a lot of the scenes, filled in some gaps but with stuff that wasn't there before, changed the story a bunch to make it make sense. It, like, it wasn't his vision anymore, essentially. He toiled years of his life into this thing and it wasn't the thing he wanted to make that the distribution company ended up putting out it was like a cut up and rearranged version of it yeah which is very sad but at the same time also some of that was his own fault um i think just from the fact that he was so particular about it um yeah it was really gonna be his it was gonna be his masterpiece you know um, and on that note, I feel like we should wrap up yeah. the stream. Alex Perf says, perfect is the enemy of good. That's a, it's a great line. It's very true. <laughs> Oof. Do, 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 do. No side, it had to end like this. Um, who would you like to raid? Oh, do, do, Bloke do, do, says do, do, I redeemed a raid cannon, but nothing happened. Does it not work unless it's a raid? Yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's the one. It's for raids. So the raid cannon is the one that... Let me show you. Let me show you the raid cannon. It's over and here. Yeah, Peter Steves, I do like Roll Doll. I like Roll Doll a lot. So this little, this little thing here is where the raid cannon is. And I think it fires when there's not a raid, but I'm not entirely sure. I think Matilda's probably my favorite road doll. I also like the witches. It looks like it might not it might not fire when there's not a raid. So I will I'll look into that. I want to do something that like something else happens with that so that you don't just throw points into nothing. A really quick poll. Everybody, quick poll. Uh, your options are... Uh, Clyde, who's a really cool animator, or Pokori Miu, who's a very fantastic um, web webcomic artist. Dude, dude. Look, it's it's Richard Williams' book. It is. Dude, Still dude, considered dude, probably dude, the dude, best dude, place dude. to start with animation. It's harder to like wait. I know he wanted the thief and the cobbler to be his uh his legacy mm -hmm. but I think honestly his legacy is mostly that book for teaching and helping so many people get into animation yeah he, he turned the book into like courses and stuff as well mm -hmm. and he taught taught it in person mm -hmm. thank you for the follow all the coffees all the coffees are following you <gasps> wow they're behind you
Before you wrap, I bring you on to playing Bug Snacks. <gasps> Amazing! I also... There's so many streams I need to catch up from from last week. Uh, I need to catch up on Onsta designing her new alternative costume that I missed. I'm so sad I missed it. That was like one of the ones I really wanted to make sure that I, I caught. But it just happened to be on the week when Doug and I were like, we can't be on the internet much this week. Too oh. busy. Too busy. So I missed it. I got to catch up with it. I'm also really excited to see you play Bug Snacks. Oh, I can't wait. It's going to be a big reveal for me because I haven't seen what you came up with yet. I'm excited. I have in my head what I like, what I would picture you coming up with, but I'm not 100% like sure. So it's going to be exciting to see how it differs from what I, I'm imagining. Um, and if you're not familiar with Onsta Monster, who's in the chat right now, their stream is really good. Good vibes, lots of positivity, lots of good feelings, um, cool art. Very shiny, cool colors, plays games, very entertaining. So we yeah. rec we, hi we highly recommend always, Onsta's stream. Always would recommend Onsta. If you haven't followed Onsta yet, do yourself a favor and go and follow. And yeah. then when you catch a stream, you can have a great time. If you are struggling with mental health, then follow Onsta Monster for good vibes. Yeah. Get that recharge. Get that pajama feeling. Yeah, that's a good one. You want to feel mentally snuggled and cuddled. I want to feel like you're being wrapped in a big blanket of Sonic and Yakuza, then <laughs> <laughs> that's what I'd recommend. Anyway, Clyde won, so we gotta go. We gotta go, we're gonna rate Clyde, he's working on his film. Um, it's one of the sequels to the... Sorry, I'm trying to remember what the name of it is. Fighty of Brackenwood? Is it Brackenwood? Oh, I thought that, and then I was like, no, that's wrong. But yeah, yeah. Fighty of Brackenwood series. Which I've been really excited for. He's working on it for, for, for a good while now. And uh, it's funded by Unreal. And he's making an Unreal Engine and Toon Boom Harmony. Which is really cool. It's a good, it's a good hybrid pipeline. And it's something I want to learn from. All right. We gotta go. We gotta go. We gotta go. I've got lots of stuff to do. Yep. Me too. All right, everybody. Thank you for joining this. Until next time. <laughs> May the rest. Of your day. Be filled with adventure. adventure. Take care, everyone, and goodbye. Bye bye. Let me just do a little wave. Goodbye. Goodbye. Bye bye. bye, -bye.